Here we have the Rampicante squash. They're doing pretty good. Here's one really big one. Another one over here, a long one. One over here. These can be picked early as a summer squash or left on the vine. Last summer I grew these for the first time and I had about five or six of them. And they lasted um, in my basement pretty much all winter. Um, the last one I ate in March, so they did really well. As you can see, they like to vine. There's a couple more. Sometimes um, they grow and you think they're gonna do really well and become big and then they turn yellow and die off. Like this one right here, very yellow. Looks like something's nibbling on this one. They produce really big, great squash blossoms. So if you'd like to eat those um, in the morning, you can come out and pick them. Um, and they're really big, so you could stuff them with cheese. That's what I like to do, mozzarella. Or I'm sure you could probably even stuff them with meat or something like that for the big ones. Um, or you can just saute them or pan fry them in uh, breadcrumb and egg dip and just eat them that way. Pan fry them in olive oil. When I first started growing these last year, I didn't see much online about these squash, um, the Rampicante. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not, but um, they're a lot of fun to grow. They definitely need a strong trellis, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure this one's gonna stay. Hopefully it will. Um, they really like to grab onto things. Here they are grabbing onto my gooseberry plant. They do leave this sticky um, residue, I guess, from, from the plant. So when you cut these on your counter or on a cutting board, um, pretty quickly there'll be a little bit of a sticky um, residue. If you let it dry, it can be kind of a pain in the butt to get off. So um, something to be aware of when if you do grow this plant. This one's gonna be great. A lot of seeds in this part right here. Um, the rest is just solid, so you can cut these into medallions. And then this can be roasted kind of like a butternut squash. That's kind of what it reminds me of when it's totally mature um, and, more, and when it's more of a winter squash. It kind of reminds me of a butternut squash in a way. That's the Rampicante squash plants and if you can grow these, I, I recommend it because it's a lot of fun. It's really interesting. It's not something you see very often in gardens, so it's fun. Okay, happy gardening!